Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacy Flowers and I am a student of Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University and I'm on a journey to become 100% debt free. My current debt is $191,864.13. I'm on baby step number two to repay all of my debts. My income this month is $6,000 and I work for myself part time. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I eat in a day and this is a gym day so I eat six meals a day every day but I feel like on gym days I try to get a little bit more in so if you're interested in that please keep watching okay so first things first for breakfast I'm going to have a protein shake and this is new protein powder this will be my first time trying it so you guys will get to see whether or not I like it. I like that it's plant-based. I like that it doesn't have any soy in it. I like what it says about it, but we are gonna see whether or not I like the taste. Um, I'm also going to um, make myself a little bit of cereal with the homemade granola that I made, which this granola is so good. And I'm gonna have an apple with a little bit of peanut butter. Um, and that's a pretty big breakfast for me. I don't usually eat that much, but because I know that I'm gonna be going to the gym and I have a little bit of work to do today, because today is a work day, and a gym day, I'm going to make sure that I really fill up. So let's get into it. So I'm going to use a little bit of peanut butter powder, which is like my favorite thing in all the land. It makes my protein shake taste great. And I'll go ahead and do a calorie count for you guys today. Um, so this is 70 calories per serving and two tablespoons is one serving. So I guess I'm gonna do, well, I'm not gonna do two tablespoons because I'm going to have another protein shake later. So I'm going to do one serving for right now. Then in my protein powder, it says there's 170 calories per serving. So I'm going to have two of these today. And there's, yeah, so ooh, that is a big old scoop. My goodness, look how big that scoop is. All right, 170 calories. I'm going to need a bigger container. All right, so normally... I just do this in my mason jar here, but I mean, the scoop can barely even fit. So I'm gonna do a bigger container um, than what I normally do. Wow, that just that feels like a lot. Holy smokes. I was definitely not using that much um, before, but we're gonna go with the instructions. Then I use a little bit of vanilla almond milk. And the almond milk for a cup is 30 calories. So we are gonna, we don't have measuring, so let me put this next to it so that I can get the, the measuring for one cup. So we're gonna do a cup and a half. That is a big, it's a big container. All right, um, and then, Got an ice cube in it or two to break up that. Then just shake it up like this to get it all nice and blended. Now, granola. I don't know how many calories are in this. I'm going to try to look that up. We're gonna do about a cup of granola. Gonna put some flax seeds and chia seeds on that. Probably like a tablespoon. A little more almond milk, about a half a cup of almond milk. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. It's not bad. It's not horrible, but it's also not like amazing either. Whoa. Oh man. <laughs> mm. 
literally this granola tastes like the best decision I've made in a really long time. So good. So can we have a conversation about how I'm not hungry and it's 12:44, and I had breakfast at I get off live at 8 so I probably had breakfast between like 8 and 8 15 and I'm not hungry I don't have to go to the gym until 4 I did move my gym time I don't know if by the time you guys see this video if you'll see my updated schedule and how I calendar um, but like I, I'm doing longer days and less days a week um, and so I'm switching my gym time so that my gym time is the end of my day. Uh, but I'm not hungry and I'm supposed to be eating six meals. And I've only had one so far. See? <laughs> and I don't know if I want to force myself to eat because I don't want to have an upset tummy. But I also want to give you guys a real like what I eat in a day. But like I'm for real not hungry. I feel like the only thing that you guys haven't seen um is the water that i've consumed but i mean my goodness i'm really not hungry and i did not take into account oh no i didn't take into account the new protein powder I, well, let me see if i have my old protein powders. i have to walk back this way so you guys can keep the light um it's much cooler today and so what i'm trying to learn how to do is um work in my home with just whatever the natural light is instead of using the artificial light so that I don't like keep working like through so this is the scoop size of my original protein powder and so I would do one of those scoops and hold on give me a second this And this is the scoop size of the other. It's like a freaking, it's a cup. It's a whole thing. Like my, I'm getting my shirt all messy, but like my other scoop literally fits inside of it. So I don't know if maybe one of those shakes a day. Can, I mean, even the texture of it, it was basically like having a smoothie as opposed to having like an almond milk. I just feel like I just wasted so much just trying to make that example and wasted a little on my shirt it's almost like having like an almond milk like something as thick as a smoothie it was like eating you know how like if ice cream melts and it's like soft serve there you go it was like having soft serve ice cream and maybe i didn't use enough milk maybe i don't know but normally like that's sort of what i would do but like and i and i guess if i i don't really count calories so i don't know if i'm thinking through this right but like that one scoop is 170 calories so it's 170 calories and 30 grams of protein and my trainer did tell me how much i need to get in a day which good luck to that oh here we go you told me how much i'm supposed to get in a day so let's see so i had the 170 just with the protein shake and i know that there was like peanut butter powder and all that other stuff i'll add it up but so I had 170 calories and so I'm supposed to get 1200 calories a day. I don't know how that and 100 grams of protein. So I had 30 grams of protein and so I need 70 more grams of protein and um, I don't know a ton of calories like I don't know how people eat like this and that's not even counting the granola, the protein powder and the apple. I'm just I say all that to say folks I'm not hungry. So what I'm going to eat is a salad and hopefully it just won't be a robust salad because yeah, I'm not hungry. I'm just, you guys are like, I don't want to hear about you not being hungry. Maybe it's like with water. Yeah. So let's have a salad. Oh, and a little bit of kale. Should I put some quinoa on the salad? Probably, huh? Yeah. 
I just feel like that makes it more feeling and I'm not really hungry like that. Okay, we're gonna leave the quinoa off because I'm not hungry like that and I still have to eat later. But I would like to put these sauteed mushrooms on there before they go bad. I'll do that. I'm gonna saute some mushrooms. So we're gonna do a salad. And I'm gonna, we're gonna do a spinach kale salad with a little mushroom cilantro um, marinated onion situation. But it's gonna, we're gonna make it basic so that that way I lose like my stomach in it. Gonna start out with some fresh kale. This kale is a few days old and I love how this method of storing it keeps it so stinking crisp. Yeah, so we're gonna let our kale rest under some olive oil. smoked paprika and lemon pepper we are not doing uh salt right now which is unfortunate because i want some salt while our kale is resting we are going to saute up some mushrooms it's just to give it a little bit more cremini mushrooms are so good i basically want to have them on everything but much like all of my tastes Carmini mushrooms are not inexpensive. You guys didn't catch the recording, but I went ahead and tossed my mushrooms in with uh, um, their season lightly, and then I just tossed in um, a little white balsamic vinaigrette just to give them a little additional flavor. Now I'm gonna finish off my salad. So it's seasoned, but I'm just gonna add my spinach to it. We're just gonna do a handful of spinach. We're gonna do like this much spinach. I know it looks super late guys, but it's just, it's not. And so this will be lunch. I know this looks like a massive salad, but it's not. It's like one kale leaf, a handful of spinach, three cremini mushrooms, and a, like maybe a tablespoon of sunflower seeds and a couple of onions. So it's not, it's not as generous as it looks right now. Um, and I'm just doing that because I'm just really not that hungry, but I want to stay on my protocol. So I'm gonna do that. And it's delicious as I thought it would be. I'm gonna have about 36 ounces of water um, which is also important to this clear skin and this beautiful sexy body so that is lunch and it is 12 ish so I'm gonna take my lunch now and by take my lunch that means I'm going to watch something on Netflix to go to the gym I will tell you because I ate so much before the gym I definitely had the energy to push through a much harder work workout so we're going into the second quarter so this is me working out now for four months and so today was a much harder workout and I get it 
I get it because all I want to do right now is take a nap. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to fix myself something to eat. But I I think I, I, I'm tired, man. <laughs> I think I understand where, like, I understand what I, I'm, I'm, I'm coming. You get what I'm trying to say. I'm so tired. I can't even say anything. So now I'm just going to make myself a Buddha bowl um, and you guys get to watch me. Just doing a little spinach and a little cilantro um, just to get a little greens on this over the top. Um, we're going to warm up these red beans. So it's about a cup of red beans that we're warming up. And then this is just a little dressing that I had from when I went out the other day. I'm gonna pour that over everything. I'm also gonna do, I'm gonna warm up a meat patty in the oven. So, just gonna grab some of this foil to cook it in. I'm gonna put this meat patty just like this in the foil in the oven to warm it up. So in addition to warming the beans, I'm gonna warm up some cauliflower rice. Probably three-fourths cup cauliflower rice. half a cup of quinoa but I'm uh, I'm actually gonna take this quinoa and just put it over a little salad so not gonna do very much quinoa and I'm gonna let it be cold since this is something cold over there so on my beans I'm just gonna do my cauliflower rice and I easily could have put it on the bottom and dumped it the other way but it's fine either way and then things don't look very appetizing but I love all these flavors I'm gonna take like a large scoop of hummus and just put it on the side this is like a roasted garlic smoked paprika hummus so it gives it great flavor too a little dressing for my teeny tiny greens here and I shall have this the gallon not a gallon but 36 ounces of water bon appetit guys I ate everything but I forgot my meat patty <laughs> so now I'm just gonna have I ate everything already it was delicious the best thing is just combining flavors that you love but I'm also gonna eat this too I meant to eat it with everything else that I had going on but um, no cilantro is awesome as well it's just a really great spice so but all done and I feel great mm -hmm.